What is going on? Welcome back to Mindful Games. I'm Bryce. And in this video, I want to talk about the body game and six ways getting jacked will improve your life starting today. All right, let's get right into it. Now, what is body game? Body game is a phrase that was created by Rom Wills. If you're not familiar with him, I highly suggest you check out his channel, check out his content. He's like an OG to, to body game and, and to women and to just a lot of like life, um, life skills and, and life things that we as men encounter. And he's kind of like, like, a, like a big uncle that maybe we all should have had in our lives. But yeah, he's been doing this YouTube thing for a minute. And uh, make sure you check out his channel because he's the one that coined this phrase that you see all over YouTube. And I have to give him a shout out because if it wasn't for him, none of us would know what the hell this even means. So if you're familiar with my channel, you know I talk about self-improvement, mindset, emotional control, things like that. I don't really tap into to body game, but I was thinking, you know, hey, I'm a personal trainer. Uh, the body game has really helped me throughout my life. And it's a branch of self-improvement. So let me go ahead and tap into this. All right, but I don't want to keep you waiting. Let's just go ahead and get into the list. And the first way that getting jacked will improve your life is it will make you look younger than you are. All right, now this is for, you know, guys who are in their 30s, in their 40s and above. Okay, working out is like an age defier. It almost just like stops the aging process. It seems it doesn't actually, but you know what I mean? It, it seems like it does. And when I tell people how old I am, like their eyes get big. They can't believe that I'm, you know, the age that I am. And for those who don't know, I am 40 years old, you know, and I get 28, I get 32. And a lot of that comes from me working out and me being consistent with it and me, you know, just being disciplined and staying in the gym. So for the younger dudes who are, you know, 20 and below, you don't necessarily have to have to worry about that. You know what I mean? But um but yeah, as you get older, you know, working out um, and having muscle on your body and not looking frail and weak and things like that, it really does make you look younger. You know, I worked in a gym for six years. It was like a lot of older people in the gym. And I tell you, you couldn't even tell how old these people were. And it's because of working out. Put some muscle on your body and it like creates this mystery behind your age. It's, it's, it's pretty wild how it happens. All right, now the second way that the body game and getting jacked will improve your life is you get more acknowledgement and you get more respect throughout life. OK, now I try to be mindful of the word respect because I feel like that falls into a category of ego. And I try to I try to tread lightly with ego. But what I'm saying is you just get more like acknowledgement, whether it's out in the world, whether it's at work, whether it's amongst your friends. And some of the examples of this are like you get more eye contact. You get more of those those head nods. You know what I mean? As you're kind of navigating through life. It's like you might be in the grocery store or something like that. It's fresh out the gym. You got a nice pump going on. You got the tank top on and you're just doing your grocery shopping. But it's like people are just staring at you like, hmm, who's this guy? He looks like somebody. And it's because when you're working out, you, you separate yourself from all the other people who don't do not work out you look a way that is not common to the to the eye so it grabs people's attention you know and they can't help but just like acknowledge they can't help but just hit you with the hey what's going on bro you doing all right and on the flip side of that when you work out you start to acknowledge others who work out because if you work out consistently you know how this game is it requires a high level of discipline a high level of intention it's like you have this unspoken connection with them. So yeah, that's number two. You get more respect and you get acknowledged a bit more in life. The third way that the body game and getting jacked improves your life is that it builds your confidence and your self-esteem. It just allows you to feel more comfortable in your skin, who you are. When you start working out and you start looking in the mirror and you start seeing your body change in ways that you never saw it change before, you start feeling a lot better about yourself. And that physical change you see translates to, to, to your mental too, and, and to your mindset and how you feel about yourself. It improves your mental well-being. You know, you just wanna keep it going. A lot of people start working out and they fall off uh, very quickly because they don't have the discipline to keep it going yet and they know that this journey is hard. But 
when you start working out and you start building that confidence and people start acknowledging it, like I, like I mentioned, man, you're gonna start feeling so good about yourself. You know, so the body game is definitely a confidence booster uh, on the physical side of things that can ultimately translate to, uh, to internal side. But I'm gonna hit on that uh, here later on in this video. So make sure you keep watching. The fourth way that the body game and getting jacked will improve your life, and this is for my dudes out there who are, who are dating and uh, you know trying to mingle with the women, the body game will allow you to have more access to women. It will provide you an opportunity to put yourself in front of more women. Now, don't get me wrong. This ain't going to translate to you having more success with women. It's going to translate to you just being able to get in front of more women because the body game and when you have a nice physique and you got lean muscle on you and you don't look all skinny and frail and weak, you know, women are attracted to that, as you already may know. On the flip side of that, too, we as men are attracted to women who look a certain way as well, too. You know, that take care of themselves, that are in shape. So it goes both ways. The body game allows you to get your foot in the door more with the opposite sex. And like I said, that doesn't necessarily translate to you get to sleep with more people or you got, like for some people. Yeah, it does. But you also got to have social skills. You got to have be able to talk. There's other components that play into it. And it's not just the body game, but taking care of yourself and presenting yourself a certain way does help with um, attraction ultimately. You know what I mean? And that's a whole separate topic, a whole nother video. But that is one of the benefits that the body game and getting yourself into really good shape um, will improve for you. Number five, the body game and getting jacked, it will have you getting called on for more physical tasks. Now, what am I talking about? I'm talking about a friend or a family member that may be moving and they need help with, you know, lifting heavy, heavy shit, furniture and stuff like that you'll get called on for these types of things. You might be at work and somebody needs to lift something or carry something. You'll get called on for these things. It's like working out, it creates this uh, like dependability in, in other people's eyes and their perception of you. It, it creates this like uh, this physical um, dependability. People are like, okay, he can do this. He can lift this, look at him, you know? And that's one thing that I've really noticed um, you know, working out and being consistent, you get called on more for, for, for physical tasks. People look to you for, for help. And that's a good feeling. It just, it just further validates that the work you're putting in in the gym, um, other people recognize it and it provides them a certain level of value in their life because you can help them as well too. And hopefully it inspires them too to get in the gym and start working on how they look and uh, building their strength and their foundation as well. Yo, if you're watching this video up to this point, I really appreciate you. If these tips are helping you, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you know when I drop more content just like this. All right. Now, the final way that the body game and getting yourself into really good shape will improve your life is because the body game is like a catalyst for your self-improvement journey, ultimately. All right. Now, when you start working out and going to the gym, that's one thing that you can control. You have a lot of control over how you look physically. And I think a lot of people overlook that, okay? And it's not easy to do, but it's one of the easier things you can do to help you on that self-improvement journey. You know, for example, say you, you have a temper or you get angry or you lack emotional control, which are things I talk about on my channel. Those things are tougher to work on and to um, improve in your life they take a, a little bit more of a different kind of work. But working out, I'm telling you, ultimately, once you start working out and you gain that discipline and build your foundation for your journey, it will translate from your physical journey to your internal journey. All right. Follow me here. The physical work that you're doing on yourself, changing your body, change how you look. Self-improvement is based on all of that. It's based on your physical and it's based on how strong are you internally? How resilient are you? How do you manage stress and the discipline that you gain from building a workout routine? You can take that and translate it into doing the work on yourself internally. And now who doesn't want to look good on the outside, but also feel good on the inside and have a level of internal strength that matches that external strength. 
All right, now if you're somebody who is starting on your self-improvement journey or starting out in the gym, check out one of my other videos. I'll be sure to leave it up here. And I just share some things to set you up for success if you're starting out getting in the gym because it can be intimidating and it's just to help you out on your journey. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see y'all in the next video, all right? Peace.